Hello everyone! In today's video I would like to finish and make a conclusion of my tail cone empennage build. So my plan is to complete all remaining outstanding tasks, install everything where I can install, counting on the fact that I still need to go through the Canadian additional inspection, and basically make a conclusion and um, tell you how many hours it took me to build this empennage. Well, basically it's almost the end, right? Uh, mostly, mainly everything is done, so it's just minor things left to do. After this conclusion, I will take some time and probably in the next video I'll show you how I'm planning to repair my trailing edges of the um, elevators. That's my separate plan because as you know my trailing edges are not look nice so I'm planning to fix that. Aside of that, as soon as that is done I'm planning to start and work on my wings and I really want to, to get my wings assembled and built as soon as possible but no rush here, we're gonna work and it will take as much time as it needed. So, let's watch!
So I faced kind of um, situation where I have to little bit change design of uh, versus what Vance uh, offers. So that is related to this part, to the part where the trim mechanism for the um, elevators will be installed. So basically Vance Aircraft wants us to use those two uh, mounts, install it on this plate. They basically want it to go from the top like that. So, for example, this is the plate. This is the main plate. So they want us to install it from top here. They want another one to be installed, obviously, from top here. And now on the bottom, as you can see we have the ears with the hole and here we need to install the like additional hardware and install the screw but the problem which i have is when those two ears and they are made according to the vans uh, to the vans um, in manual when those two ears are installed what's happened is that I cannot really insert a screw here. I mean, I can insert the screw, but it will touch the rivets because those uh, two brackets riveted using this type of the rivet. So basically, not the flush, not the flush head, but the like the normal rivets, and they are riveted in this way. Okay, so we have a head on top now. If we want to install a screw, uh, the bolt here, the bolt will be scratching this top of the rivet, like scratching a lot. So basically you cannot even fit it normally. Why? Because this thing is installed from the top, like that, right? So it's installed from the top. And on the bottom, your ear here has way less clearance. So anyway, this I didn't like. I didn't like this part of their design. I don't know why they decided like that. What I did was very simple. First of all, I measured how the thing will travel and I decided to install those ears on the bottom. So they will be installed on the bottom of the thing, like that. So they're gonna be from the bottom and also in the middle here, I decided to use the flush rivet. So basically, the flush rivet will be installed here. On top here, I simply made two aluminum plates, which will be here on top, like a stiffeners. So basically, on this side, I will have a stiffener and I will rivet through it. So this will ensure that there's going to be enough material and enough strength here. So right now again, I'm not sure why Vance decided to design it like that. Maybe I did something wrong in previous steps, but I don't know. I measured distance here. It's a uh, one eighth, I guess, of the inch. Like it's all made up to their drawings. But still, when I'm trying to use the bolt, bolt scratching with his head the uh, rivet the uh, top side like the, the rivet head and i didn't like that so anyway hope this modification is not a big issue so the idea was to make it this way so that's our whole assembly that's the top you see i added those two stiffeners on top here now that's the bottom side Oh, don't look at this scratch. I will probably add some uh, protection later on. It's just because of the way how a rivet gun worked here. So you see, this one is a flush rivet. This is a normal rivet. Now I have all this properly installed. So you see, flush rivet, normal rivets, same on the other side. And what's most important is that now I have properly it bolted in. This thing moves. And well, it looks more correct for me. I understand I had to, to add those two stiffeners, but otherwise it should be just fine. And the only difference with the original construction now is that this all this part, this uh, crank, this um, bolt and all those mounts are actually a little bit to the bottom by the uh, thickness of this material, but which is not a big deal. Again, the way how it's adjusted here, it should be just fine.
well, I knew this moment finally will come, and this moment finally came. That's my tail cone, empennage, assembly, all assembled, all done. Well, except the rudder, except the elevators, which are sitting on the separate table and just waiting for inspection for Canada, after which I will be able to close them completely and attach them. Now, I guess more interesting question, how long did it take me to come to this point? I made all my notes here and I will tell you. So, vertical stabilizer. It took me 45 and a half hours to complete vertical stabilizer. Now, rudder. Rudder, it took me 26 hours. So, rudder part which is sitting on the table took me 26 hours to complete. Horizontal stabilizer, large part, 53 hours. Elevators, again the two parts sitting on the table, took me even more, 68 hours. So elevators came out to be most like heavy expensive part in terms of time. Well, not yet. Tail con. Tail con, 98 hours. So basically the tail con part is 98 hours to complete. An additional 12 hours to attach, assemble, install that uh, trim mechanism and all that stuff. Well, that's it, that's all. And total time I spent on this particular empennage assembly for my RV10 Vans airplane is 303 hours. So 303 hours, so basically 300 hours I would say, roughly until the moment what I have right now. I wouldn't mistake if I add another, let's say, 10 to 20 hours, probably 20 hours, to finish up the riveting of the like remaining parts, which are not yet riveted. Not that much, but I would say 20 hours, maybe 30 hours. Uh, and I would add another 20 hours to attach rudder, attach elevator. So I would say 350 hours I should fit total for complete empennage assembly except painting of course well what's next what's next first of all i need to get my elevators fixed repaired that trailing edge i need to get that repaired it's very important i will likely open it up i will I don't know if I will go with double-sided 3M tape or I'll still use that tank sealant for that but I have to get those trailing edges fixed because that's not right how it is now. Uh, I will hunt for some bed rivets. I found a couple already in some certain places but yeah I am planning to do some hunting for the bed rivets and just get them replaced as well since I still can do that because the uh, I still have access. Where else? Well, basically that's it. I will disassemble everything, of course, put it on, in my sh shelf. And the next is wings. I already have my wings kit arrived. Everything is here. I already unpackaged everything, checked everything. I have everything. So my plan is to have some little vacation now. And after that, I'm going back and starting to work on my wings. So the next videos you will see will likely be related to my wings assembly. Well, thank you very much for uh, being and watching my videos and being with me while I was working on this uh, beautiful Vans RV10 empennage. And as I said, my next part is my wings. So, see you in the next videos and bye!